Hi, good morning or good evening to everyone. Today in this main film tutorial we'll see a TSO ISPF advanced options or some of the important options that we use in our day-to-day -day work while working on the mainframe environment. So far in my earlier videos you have seen the basic TSO ISPF uh, commands or options so uh, I hope you have practiced well on those or you might have viewed it. So now I will, I'm going to show you uh, other important options that we come across or the line commands that we will be coming across while working. So let us take a situation where you will be having a program uh, for some line 500 or something. So let me open a program. Okay. Okay. This is my simple program. Uh, so where this is like program is used for DB2 cursor handlings or something. Okay. Then you can see a lot of code which is running here. Okay. Mm then what you can do here is so suppose if for, to go down what is the option you will be pressing to go down you will be pressing uh, function key F8 right to go up you will be pressing F7 or F8 right and this is you are going column wise cursor wise right if you place a cursor here and press F8 the cursor will be pointing here right and in the same way if you type here as page okay and you, even if you place a cursor here and press F8 button so it will go page wise that means it will take fixed records so that might be a you know, it looks like 12 records or 14 records it will go up but even if I place a cursor here and press F8 it will not come right in order to do that the first thing what we do is we will type it as cursor here and press enter so then you can when you go up so wherever you place the cursor it will go to that particular place right f8 so it will come and stop at that line so for example mm, suppose I'm having a piece of code okay so this is like I'm having the piece of code line with 860 I mean my source code is like 860 lines I wanted to go to a um, suppose 100 the line so how do I go do I press F8, F8, F8 uh, these many times to go to the 100th record or do we have any other option? Yes, we have other option. Just type L line to which line you want to go and type 100 so that it will take directly to this particular line and you can easily find it. So this way it is helpful and uh, line 500, okay, you can get directly go to the line 500 or we can say if I if you want to go completely up just type M and then F7 to completely go to the top position and if you want to go down completely to the down position just, just type M and press F8 so it will come extreme bottom and M F7 to extreme top right and so so far you have seen four different option page what happens when you use a page option cursor what happens when it is what uh, how it uh, how it uh, I mean how we can move the cursor positions and sorry place the cursor and we can get that position then other option you have seen is f7 comma f8 to go up and to go down and then you have seen m f7 and then m f8 right so these are the different options to go in record wise right that is row wise these are like these are the operation that we do which with the actions that we use uh, for row wise operations if it is for the column wise suppose so what is the uh, this is like a hundred I mean sorry 80 bytes data sets right 80 side uh, member so that means uh, you can see the columns the maximum number of columns you can write is 80 I mean then uh, for each record you can get uh, enter a text of 80 bytes right so there will be uh, some data sets like uh, 200 or 400 length the record length will be 200 or 400 length and you wanted to go to the 20th record I mean 20th column place or 150th column place and you want to see the record what is there at 150th column so how to do that so for example I want to go to the 10th record then I can type 10 and press F or 5th record okay and press F11 so that it will directly point uh, to the 
fifth record i mean i mean uh, it will skip the fifth record and it will point on the sixth position so it will move five lines to the left and then you can see the cursor is given there so this is for just for 80 bytes so it just sample you can create a simple data set mm, let me create y203 no, two data set okay I can say data set one allocate mm, bytes. I can give it as 800 okay zero enter okay 3.4 okay yes one and I can see this has 800 right now I can press edit okay and I will some enter some text okay okay then type cols columns and from here you can see if you press f11 you can see the total records on the top you can see the columns are changing right okay now what I want to do is uh, uh, I wanted to go to the extreme corner right in order to go to the extreme corner I mean 800 the record I mean 800 column then what you can do is just type plus F M and uh, press F11 key. then it will directly go to this you can see the last column what you have and if you want to come to the first column press type M and F10 so that it will come normally you will be typing F11 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 so it will go there so and you can type page and see what happens if you do F11 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 okay okay F F10 and F11 are used for to move up I mean forward or backward in the column wise and M F11 if you type it will go to the extreme corner and M F10 it will come to the extreme uh, starting position of the column so this is how we do and uh, sometimes we wanted to go to 80th column or 90th column so how to do that just type 90 and press F11 okay so that it will come to the 90th column that means 91th position it will be pointing and I wanted to go to the 180 column just type M and once again uh, sorry 90 and F11 so you can see so I am already at 90th column position right so in order to go to the 180 location 180th column so I just add plus 90 so that it will go to that particular line I mean the particular column so suppose you are at uh, uh, it, in the column 0 then if you want to go to the 180th position so just type 180 and press F11 so it will directly go to that particular column okay so in this way we can use this column operations right so this is very very useful I can say I mean whenever you sometimes you receive a data from the client or some other system and you wanted to check a particular data suppose it might be account number account number is at uh, some 200th column and uh, you want to see that uh, if that account number is properly existing there or not then you can use this option and it will be very grateful so to recap so we have seen the column level options like f7 f8 then m f7 then m f8 right m f8 and if you want to go to the particular column number then you type the number and then press f11 okay f11 for forward or f f10 for f10 for backward okay so this is how we use it thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you have any comments or suggestions please do co uh, comment on my youtube channel and uh, please do feel free to subscribe to my youtube channel for getting more and more updates thank you so much again